they bust in my room, I wake up, straight adrenaline took over, it's flashlight to my face, I'm thinking it's the police. These were the words CJ So Cool said after two assailants broke into his home and shot him four times. 2022 was a rough year for rappers. Seven were gunned down, including PNB Rock, Trouble, and even the youngest of the Migos, Takeoff. So when the cost of a life is usually a single bullet, surviving four shots outgunned and from an ambush builds you a certain kind of reputation in the rap game. CJ So Cool has a dark and lengthy criminal record that you probably didn't know about. Keep watching until the end of this video to see why rappers are really scared of CJ So Cool. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. CJ So Cool's Rough Side of Hustling we all know him as CJ So Cool, the rapper and famous YouTuber, but his birth name is actually Codero James Brady. He started dating and eventually got married to Instagram sensation Charlene Johnson, who we better know as Royalty Johnson. But what most people don't know is that CJ is no stranger to the rougher side of hustling. Since he previously worked as a poker dealer, blackjack dealer, and casino craps dealer before he truly dove into the YouTube world, where he rapidly became known for viral reaction videos and practical jokes. One of these came up in an instance when he recorded a video in 2015, where he put laxatives in his kids' food and kept shooting even as the kids struggled to use the potty. Even some of the most well-known YouTubers, including Scarce, Drama Alert, Blasphemous HDTV, and Pyrocynical criticized him for his inhumane behavior. And although there's no justification for some of his previous actions, he seemed to have distanced himself from such behaviors. In August 2017, he posted a video on his channel where he shocked his family by purchasing a mega mansion, about the time he'd just attracted his first 30 million views. CJ seemed to finally be living the good life, as he revealed in a YouTube video in March 2022 that he and his family had relocated to a new house in Henderson, Nevada, located around 15 miles south of Las Vegas. But unfortunately, disaster struck, not even a year later when he was shot in the same home. Beyond being shot, it was really shocking that the incident occurred in his home, because he had previously often bragged about how secure the area was. However, CJ So Cool confirmed the incident when he posted a video from his hospital bed, where he thanked his family and friends for their support during the terrifying time. He said, I'm getting so much love right now on Instagram, Facebook, text messages, phone calls. Everyone that's reaching out to me with positive regards, I appreciate you. I appreciate all the love. This is something that if I would have passed away, I wouldn't have been able to see, so it's a very warm feeling that I get to embrace all this love, and I get to still be on this earth which only means that God has a plan for me. Remembering to be caring, even after being shot, he also begged us to stay careful, saying that he has no idea why he was chosen as the target. I just want anybody watching to know this is not phony, this was not staged. I don't wish this on anybody. Get inside, this isn't a joke or a game, particularly if you're just trying to fall asleep. I mean, I was literally roused from my sleep by two individuals who were attempting to murder me. What reason? I'm not sure. Never have I done anything to anyone. I've never violated anyone's rights. However, I'm just happy to be here and will return. I'm going to improve. CJ seemed really shocked about the shooting, but some would argue that it is to be expected. When you're that famous, you definitely have people with ill feelings towards you. Those feelings could stem from fear or hate, but they sometimes lead to actual actions like shootings. CJ So Cool Cheating Controversy Although CJ is known for being a family man, there seems to be a lot of animosity on the home front. You see, he and royalty shared a home in Las Vegas with their two children. CJ is the stepfather of royalty's three children from her prior relationships and has a daughter from a previous relationship. From the start, the two were a power couple, with royalty featured on CJ's YouTube videos multiple times. They seem to be madly in love. But trouble struck on August 24th, 2022, when royalty confirmed they had ended their relationship, and she had almost nothing nice to say. She revealed to her YouTube fans at the time, saying, I obviously looked through CJ's phone and he was chatting to various women and cheating. He's a recurring cheater and liar, and it's getting tiresome. I'm not here to criticize CJ, but the lying and cheating are excessive. 
I'm so sick of the constant disrespect, constant selfishness, and constant belittling. You will lay in this bed because he selected it. This is interesting because some fans speculate that royalty may have been involved in the shooting as the house is located in a highly secured neighborhood. It would take an insider to get in the way the assailants did smoothly. Royalty allegedly got herself a new boyfriend, who had fans pointing fingers at him because we all know an ex got a rapper killed because of a woman in his sleep is not a new concept. Last year, Atlanta rapper Trouble was shot dead while sleeping in a female companion's room by a scornful ex. So when Royalty's new boo decided to post Man Down around the time of the attack, dots started getting connected. Understandably, it has social media buzzing with suspicion. This latest incident also leaves us wondering if CJ So Cool's recent gunshot attack was a first or if it might have been a retaliatory shooting because rappers get shot at a lot and sometimes we're unaware. CJ So Cool calling on the cops. In September 2019, something seemed to have happened at the mall that scared CJ So Cool. The mystery surrounding the incident, which he never revealed, tells us there's a chance that a previous shooting attempt might have occurred. Only a brief portion of what happened that tragic day was revealed by CJ in a video, in which he told us, at least I'm alive to see another day. Sounds like his life is in danger and might not be a first, but we're glad he's still here with us. In a 13-minute video, CJ explains, You already know I wasn't posting videos, but a lot has happened since I stopped publishing videos. Guys, I don't even want to discuss it since I dislike negativity. And for some reason, whenever I talk about the bad things, they simply keep finding me and following me. All I will tell you, folk, is an incident did take place. I did video something on Instagram, and I thank the police officers that were aiding me that day. The father of four continues. With all of that information, it was clear that this wasn't your typical event involving some pissed off mall patrons. It must have been something if he went so far as to phone the cops, right? But of course, every fan of CJ knows that he rarely calls the cops unless the situation warrants it. In his video, he even continued to thank the police, saying, the police truly helped me and they opened up my eyes a little bit, man. Being the influencer he is, he continued by urging his followers to contact the police if they were having a problem. Start using the police for the purposes for which they were intended, as they genuinely have your back, because the police are on your side until you decide to change sides. Always respect them and the law, CJ said. Do you think the two incidents could be related? Was the invasion caused by all of the luxuries he flaunts, or was it a hit from an ex-rivalry? And is someone out there really after his life? Join the conversation and let us know in the comment section below. That's the end of today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and leave a comment down below. Thanks.